Imagine a computer that remembers everything that we do. And I'm not just talking about browser history or old messages, but everything displayed on our screen. All the apps open, how long you looked at an image, my credit card transactions, everything, but everything. And Microsoft hopes that we feel really empowered and have all the power in our hands without being watched or without feeling that we are being watched. But will this be possible with the new Windows 11 24H2 updates and the feature called Recall? Uh, let's try and find out. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code, which will give you the best price possible at this moment. So just in case, the link will be down below. Recall is a new feature that will take instant snapshots of our screen every few seconds, about five seconds or so. And then it will save them on our computer. And using AI, these snapshots will be very easy to search through a natural language. Now, for example, we can say, show me all the messages that I talked about, beaches in Algarve, which is where I live. And Recall will locate those messages, even if we have forgotten when they were saved or which software I use because the tool will search across everything that we recorded. For recall to work correctly, Windows 11 needs to store a significant amount of information. It uses about 25 gigabytes of storage minimum and this amount will increase with our usage. Now, all data saved by recall will never leave our PC according to Microsoft at least, and it's processed by the Neural Processing Unit or NPU of our computer. And this means that there is no need to send anything to the cloud, but it's still crucial to ensure that our computer is protected. Microsoft is aware that this might seem like a privacy nightmare, and I believe that they do. Recall will not hide any account numbers or passwords, everything will be visible, so it will be essential that our computer is safe or protected. Microsoft also promises that Recall data will be protected the same way as any other data that we have on our computer, but naturally concerns about security of this data will arise. And this is actually one of my concerns, and I would love to hear your concerns down below on the comment section. Now, Recall will be available on computers that Microsoft labels as Copilot Plus. These computers need to have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage and an NPU capable of at least a trillion operation per second, which means that I don't have any computer at this moment capable of testing Recall. Because currently there are no computers on the platform x86 that have CPUs capable for these requirements. Now, the first certified products will be laptops with the Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite and X Plus, which are the ARM-based competitors for the Apple M chips, which we have talked here in a few videos. And in my opinion, this is really cool and interesting. Fortunately, it's possible to exclude certain programs and browsers from recall if we don't want to have all our activities to be monitored. So the recall feature in Windows 11 promises to be a powerful search and organization tool, but it comes with a significant responsibility and privacy concerns. We will be keeping our eye open and to be honest, I'm really, really interested and curious to test it out. Let me know down below what you think about this new feature on Windows 11 and if you are tend to start using it and test out how it works or if you will hold on to see the feedback that we get out of the community. Hope that the video was helpful and if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.